There's a lot of people that really look after their horses good. We, uh, you know, sometimes uh, uh, maybe get a little more attached to them than some people, I guess. I think they get comfortable with us. I try to let them be themselves. Dad always said you gotta look after them, you know. So we try and look after every horse as good as we can. But we've just, we've had some awesome horses, like unbelievable uh, the horsepower I've had since I was a kid. Siano, he's just, he's an exceptional horse. He's, uh, you know, I knew that right from the start. He has the eagle eye on him and he's just a beautiful horse. Uh, and he is, uh, if, he could, if he could talk, he would talk. Uh, he has a big heart, and uh, he's not a big horse, but he, uh, you'd think he was a monster when he uh, gets revved up. And, uh, you know, he, he lets his feelings show. I've always liked the horse with a little bit of an attitude. When I first started racing Siano, he was brought into an outfit that was uh, a really, really good outfit, and uh, I needed a right wheeler, and he went there, and, uh, you know, with them, he helped me win the 2008 uh, Stampede. That he was just, he put me that much more over the top with the outfit. I think the more, more we hang out with these horses, the more they can trust us, and the more the personality comes out in them. The, the calmer and and uh, more relaxed you can keep the the horse, that you know, the better he's going to perform. And if I treat him. Treat them like I want them to win. I don't, I don't push them, but I'm hoping that uh, the better I treat them, the better they are. Yeah, you can't do it without them.